But first, let's head out to Jasmine Caldwell on Fort Hood, where Guillen was given full military honors during a private memorial. Jasmine. Well, yeah, Leslie, family, friends and fellow soldiers were at that memorial this morning to honor Vanessa Guillen. To say goodbye for the family of Vanessa Guillen and the military family who served beside her. We were all able to witness a very beautiful uh, memorial for Vanessa um, over Fort Hood. Um, but it's not enough. Several hundred people were at the service inside the spirit of Fort Hood Chapel. The centerpiece was Vanessa Guillen's soldier cross, which included a helmet, a rifle, identification tags, and boots. At a press conference, the Guillen family attorney, Natalie Kawam, told the media they will continue to demand for a congressional investigation into Guillen's case. We're not going to stop. We're just starting. Starting. Okay? Get ready for a long marathon because this is going to go and go and go and go. This is a crusade for the woman. This is a crusade for America. This is a crusade for our military. Three months after the soldier went missing, Guillen's sister Lupe says the pain of losing Vanessa won't go away. My sister did not have to go to war, did not have to go in combat to die. Someone killed her. She got murdered. The most gruesome, horrifying. Disgusting way. After the ceremony, the family was able to visit the arms room on Pulse, the same arms room where Vanessa Guillen was killed. There isn't, it's not a closed door, it's not closed windows, nothing. It's open. So there's no one that saw or heard her. There's no one that heard her screaming. There's no one, the blood, I was, I was looking around the room, there, it wasn't even big enough to, to commit this murder without anyone noticing. Well, Guillen's family will meet with President Donald Trump on July 29th, one day before the I am Vanessa Guillen bill will be introduced to Congress. Reporting live from Fort Hood, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.